Recognizing that, that maintaining law and order and the protections of citizens is a natural and God-given right by the people of Timor-Leste and one which I will defend with all that is in my power. So, yes, it is achievable because a bullet can wound the president, but never can penetrate the values of democracy. Very much the uh, Prime Minister of uh, Timor that Australia will stand shoulder to shoulder with East Timor into the future in the defence of its democratic system of government. As being the recipient of the Deployment of Australian assets, additional Australian assets, it adds to confidence at every level of the way in which this country is currently conducting itself. So I thank you for that because uh, you're the sharp, sharp end of the operation. The investigation unit confirm about that the warrant, and then the warrant is already handed over by the, the general prosecutor to the penal officers, especially in that uh, investigation unit, in order to uh, call those people uh, have uh, already identified. We are optimistic, but we are not allowed to have that warrant in order to arrest somebody. But we will coordinate with the international police in here, and then with the other, uh, with the other instance that have the capability, like uh, ISF, they will be supporting the Pentel or with the, the international police in order to have uh, to arrest those people that we have already identified. Yeah, see, see more. 